Hello, leaders. How are you? How is, um, you know, staying home feeling? As in, I'm so very excited personally. I know it's been like I feel a bit uh, depressing nanini because I'll talk a lot about how to talk nanini. But I tell you, um, I think to learn to you learn in a hard way, especially you see how to use technology vizuri. And I'm just so impressed by the changes I'm going to be able to do in my life, meaning to be able to embrace technology and to be able to embrace, which is something very, very, very important. And I mean, I say everything about you can talk about it. It's not just that you can talk about it, but it's you understand ukiamua okay, kuangalia on the brighter side utaona ukiangalia okay, kuangalia on the on the negative side utaona like sasa hivi imekuwa rais sana kumwambia mtu isee karibu kwenye 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 mkutano wa biashara ambao unakutumia two link and then you attend you understand kuliko ambavyo labda zamani ilikuwa namwalika mtu namwalika mtu ya mtu atokee okay. you get kwa, kwa sababu issue kwenye biashara yetu ni moja tu kuhakikisha kwamba tunawapatia information watu wengi wezekanavyo na mimi nasema huu mwaka 2020 mwaka mm, yani like mbichi kabisa sasa hivi tuko mwezi wa tatu imagine kwa bado tuna miezi tisa ya kuhakikisha kwamba tunatimiza malengo yetu kwa hiyo um, just in case uko very like maybe uko disappointed na everything that is happening and all that don't be i know kuna so much in, uh, negative energy ambayo ina, ina tunaipata kutoka kwa watu wanaotuzunguka kutoka kwenye tv like new na vitu kama hivyo lakini i tell you ukiamua kutafuta na opportunity na ukaamua kweli kusema okay yani sasa hivi ngoja nifanye biashara na nafikiri kufanya kwa sababu kila mtu sasa hivi anatafuta cha kufanya mimi naamini unaweza ukafanya biashara vizuri sana so um niliwaza cuz najua sasa hivi tuko na a lot of online meetings kama jana tuko na mkutano wa biashara na wali attend watu 400 na 25 actually ilikuwa ni zaidi ya hawa lakini kuna zaidi ya watu 45 ambao wali attend so imagine unajua ukika ukiangalia tungesema tuna organize meeting pale ofisini obviously ofisi yetu haiwezi kwa kumodeli zaidi ya watumia na kawaida pakijia sababu mpajia moja na ishirini umeona so like imagine leo kuna watu 45 na, na ambao wame attend mkutano kutoka mikoa tofauti tofauti na wakaweza kuwa una walikuwa very excited so like ni yani kuna mtu alikomment akasema unajua mikutano yetu yote ya mikoa yote yani unakuta haijafika hata namba 45 and we are looking forward yani mkutano unaokuja uweze kuwa na watu 45 like uweze kuwa na zaidi ya watu of moja can you imagine that goal hiyo ni kujaza pale mwalimu Nyerere pale JK ambao sijui mwaka gani ndo tulijazaga you understand like sasa hivi yani naona kama vile kila mtu anatafuta hivi nifanyeje and then kwa sababu watu wengi wako social media sasa hivi ni rahisi mtu kuona post yako ila mimi um, ambacho ninafanya nikipata mkutano kama huu wala si nitapost nita, nita nakumbuka nili, niliweka video social media na nini na nilikuwa na mkutano wangu mwenyewe ali attend kama watu 13 ambao ni wapya kabisa ambao nilipost tu kwenye post nikasema jana nafanya mkutano wa mkutano wa online wakaja and wali attend so it was amazing lakini me what i do ni kwamba ninahakisha na check watu inbox kwa hiyo ukipata events kama hizi ambazo zinakuja sasa hivi na tutazifanya nyingi sana usipost ukaishia kusubiria watu wakwambie wakutafute no ukipost kwenye insta story ukipost kwenye status hakikisha wale watu wale kucheki waliona unawatumia in individual messages you understand ili mtu apate ile personal touch kama nimetumia message mimi kama mimi na ni muhimu pia uweze kuwapigia baadhi ya watu kuna wale ambao unataka sana waweze kuwatend kwa sababu unajua potential na nini hao watu wapigie simu very important now issue inakuja sasa kwenye hii mikutano pia kumbuka mtu anakuwa yuko mwenyewe kwa lipo kwa mtu anaweza kaa yuko kwenye mkutano lakini maybe anafanya kitu hichi anafanya hichi at the same time anafanya hivi anasikiliza unaweza kukuta baba hayuko very serious sana you know lakini yuko kwenye mkutano au unakuta kuna wengine sangine kama sasa hivi wanashindwa ku attend kwa sababu anakuta baba hana data unaona ama unakuta labda um, hana like um, ameshindwa ku login labda sim zetu sim na sim na sim na sim labda sim yake ina space ameshindwa hivyo lakini umealika watu wengi na wengi wamekwambia atajoin na vitu kama hivyo wengine wana attend lakini anatoka katikati ya mkutano ana leave the the, the 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 event ama the meeting kwa sababu tofauti tofauti so mimi nikawaza sasa hivi this way is going to be very effective na hata training uh, mimi kwa sababu nimetaka ni record sasa hivi nisifanye jioni ndio maana nime record lakini nadhani usingefanya online ila um It's important because tuna record all these meetings. It's important pia kuweza kuwa na take your time kuweza kuwa na watumia baadhi ya watu the link of the message of the of the of the of the videos ambazo zimekuwa recorded ili watu waweze kupea kutoa taarifa kwa watu wengi sana. Kumbuka watu wako on their phones all the time. You understand? Kwa ukimtumia mtu link ni rahisi kuweza kufanya ni kuiangalia lakini kumbuka hii ndio 
almost our only activity sasa hivi because always kutoka kwenda kufanya one to one always kutoka kwenda kwenye mkutano wa biashara mko kalika mtu aje kwenye mkutano wa biashara labda sasa hivi hauwezi kufanya product launch sasa hivi hauwezi kitu gani hauwezi kutoka kwenda kuongea na watu kwenye gym tukaenda kuongea na watu kwenye um, labda saloon ya mko ongea yani hakuna hauwezi kwenda kwenye mall kwenda kukutana kukusanya namba meaning sasa hivi the only activity ambayo tunaweza kuifanya ni hii sasa kama tunataka tuifanye hii tu ina maanisha lazima iwe effective kwa sababu usijikute kwamba we unasubiria tu mkutano paka baada ya mkutano. Kwa maana kama tuna mkutano huu Jumatano umesha paka mwingine baada lini utangazwe hivyo utakuwa unajishelewesha na utajikuta unapoteza muda mwingi sana. Na kuna lot of other activities ambazo tunaweza kuzifanya ambazo zingine sasa zinahusiana na ku ku track ku track biashara yako, ku track lengo lako na usiana na personal development hivyo. Sio zote ambazo utazifanya ambazo zinahusiana na kukuletea CC directly ama kujenga biashara yako directly ama kujenga like kujenga timu ama kukuleta watu kwenye biashara yako. Sasa ni kawazo of a challenge ambayo itatusaidia wote kuweza kuweza kuwa more effective na hii njia. Kwamba ziko videos ambazo ziko recorded tayari na mimi ningeomba nitoe challenge ya kuhakikisha kwamba every single day tunatuma video to at least 10 people. Now kutuma video ni kitu mbona unaweza kutuma hata video kwa watu 50 no problem you understand depending na list yako ulionayo right na uzuri wa kutuma videos ni kwamba it's mtu anafanya maamuzi si ndio like you're not even there kupata your rejection kwa hiyo you can actually tuma messages ama videos nyingi kwa watu wengi weza kana and then mtu anaweza akaangalia aka, and then akakupa feedback and all that ama siangalie that's fine lakini unataka watu wengi wawe attention na kuangalia ambacho zenda kuwatumia. So ndio maana um, kuna kitabu nilisoma inasema like hakikisha unawauliza maswali ili uweze kupata confirmation za, zao. Kwa kabla ya kumtumia mtu video, kwanza tutaendelea na ile list system kwamba niko na list yangu ya watu wa kuwapigia simu. You understand? Kwa haya maswali unaweza ukaya, uka, uka, ukayauliza kwa njia ya kumumpigia simu. Haya maswali unaweza kuyauliza kwa njia ya kumtumia mtu message especially kama yuko available hapo kuendelea kuchat na wewe. You understand? Kwa utaandika list yako ya majina ya watu ambao unawasiliana nao kwa siku, okay? Na utaandika majina ya watu ambao unataka kuwatumia videos kwa hiyo siku. Na ukishakuwa na hiyo list yako ili uweze kuifanya effective obviously kama nilivyosema inabidi uwaulize maswali. Na ukimuuliza mtu swali usubirie mpaka akujibu ndio muulize swali lingine. Na tunafanya hivi ili uweze kupata commitment. Unataka kupata commitment minimum ya commitment tatu. Do you understand? So swali la kwanza ni hili. I have an interesting life change life changing um, video. Okay, I have a, I have an interesting life changing only 49 video link. Now if that depends na unatuma video gani. Unaweza kawa bani introduction video yako, unaweza kawa hii ni 49 min, uh, minutes video link ambayo ni ya business presentation yangu. Na it has changed my life, my, my thinking and now I'm so grateful that I'm working on something that promises 100% reward on the effect if it's important. Not sure if it's for you, but if I share the video with you will you, will you watch it? Ntaiandika hii Kiswahili lakini I think nilisha zituma hizi ai maswali kwenye groups tayari lakini ikawaza maybe ni record it like a training. So um ili swali ni kwamba niko na video ambayo iko very interesting na inaweza kabadilisha maisha yako kabisa. Na hii video ni ya dakika kadhaa. Kwa hiyo inaweza kawa video dakika tukotokana na wewe sasa na hiyo video ambayo nataka kukutumia. Na nitashare pia videos ambazo naweza kuzituma. And imebadilisha mtazamo wangu kiasi kikubwa sana na namshukuru Mungu kwamba sasa hivi nafanya nafanyia kazi kitu ambacho na uhakika kitanirudishia asilimia moja ya nguvu ambazo ninaziweka kwenye kwenye hiyo biashara. Asina uhakika kama ni kwa ajili yako lakini Um, naomba ni, ni share hii video na wewe nikikutumia hii video utaiangalia hilo ndo swali will you watch it hilo ndo swali la kwanza kwa nikutumia video utaiangalia then swali la pili of course atakwambia ndio most likely watakwambia ndio so swali la pili nasema nikikutumia sasa hivi utaiangalia saa ngapi if i send it to you now what time will you watch it hilo ndio swali la pili. Kwa atakujibu, ina maanisha kikujibu ni commitment ya ngapi? Ya pili. Mshamuuliza kwanza taiangalia yes. Utaiangalia saa ngapi atakwambia bibi nitakutangalia baba baba saa tisa. Baba nitaangalia saa mbili usiku. Utaangalia saa ngapi? Atakujibu huo muda ambao atakukwambia. Utamuuliza swali la tatu upate commitment ya tatu. So utamuuliza um nikikupigia muda fulani ambao ndio ule ambao amesema kama nilikwambia saa 9 jioni nikwambia sasa nikikupigia utampa baba maybe wa, like maybe 10 minutes like at least atangalia saa 9 kwa dakika ya saa 9 sasa maisha itakuwa maybe kama saa kumi. kwa hiyo nikupigia saa kumi, utakuwa umeshaiangalia if i call you at 4 pm will you be done umempa ile 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 grace period ya kile kipindi cha kuangalia ile video 
Okay. So swali hili na lile lingine la pili ya yanakaribiana ni almost the same question lakini unachotaka wewe ni kwa upate commitment total commitment kwamba yes i'm going to watch the video ambao utafanya utaitwa because watu wanapata videos nyingi sana lakini videos ngapi ambazo watu wanazianga wanaweza kwa nyingi actually nyingi unakuta sio za kibiashara nyingi video nyingi unakuta ni za ni za kuchekesha ni za nini kama sasa kuna ma video za corona ma nini yani hivyo like kuna so much ambayo kina going kina 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 kinapita kwenye akili za watu kinapita kwenye simu za watu kwa hiyo you want the commitment kwamba hii unaenda kumtumia it's a very special video it's not a video kama video zingine ndio maana you want the commitment kwamba atafanya nini ataiangalia so ikifika ule muda saa kumi, piga hiyo simu hasa ile mara kwanza unataka kwa ulimtumia message that's fine but huu muda ukifika piga simu yani usimtumie tena message usimuulize yani siku ya mtumpigia hapo sasa simu ndio inakuwa part of the cause ambayo utazipiga that day so utampigia simu na utamuuliza umependa nini kutoka kwenye video usimuulize any other question muuze umependa nini kutoka kwenye video kwa sababu unataka ufokasishe kwenye positive part ambayo ame ambayo imemu interest zaidi you understand naweza kama msikia forever naweza sio na hivyo iko hivyo lakini ile part ambayo inakusababisha ambayo inasababisha feel like okay I'm, i think i'm interested that is the part that you want to know because au take kuanza kuweka my negative and all that so what did you like from the video and then utanyamaza kimya bila kumuuliza swali lingine mpaka atakapofa nini atakapokujibu sasa kutoka kwenye majibu ndio utakao utakuwa utakuona utakuwa unaendelea kumuuliza maswali na kujua utafanya nini next so kama hajaangalia utamrudia swali la ngapi la tatu utakuwa umeiangalia saa ngapi what time will you watch akikwambia muda tena mwambie ni kupigia actually swali la pili haikupigia akikwambia huo muda utamuuliza tena kweli kupigia muda utakuwa umeiangalia you understand so kama utam, utafanya hivyo mara tatu alafu hajafanya haja angalia video it means uwe mtu hayuko tayari that is how you know mtu yuko tayari ama hayuko hayuko tayari so tumwambia tu thank you for your time i believe you have so much on your plate right now maybe not ready to get to get to know to get to learn um something new so i'll pass i'll pass it on to someone else however i'm open you I am open you already have the link so when you op- you when you open to know more you can watch it and I'm, I'm just a phone call away I wish you success. Kwa hiyo hapo unasema tu kwamba asante sana kwa muda wako na mimi una mambo mengi sana sasa hivi ya kufanya nadhani huko tayari pia kuweza kujifunza kitu kipya kwa ngoja nimtumie mtu mwingine. Kwa hiyo lakini pia hiyo link unayo kwa hiyo kama utakuwa uko tayari unatoka iangalia and ukishaiangalia kumbuka niko unaweza tu ukanipigia na kunipata just a phone call away na kutakia mafanikio. Very polite but inaonesha kwamba hautaendelea kumcheck tena na kweli usimcheki unless kama ni mtu ambaye unataka sana unamwamini unaamini kwenye strength and whatever like you really want that person kufanya naye kazi then utamweka kwenye what you call a later list later list ni list ya list ya watu ambao utakuja kuacheki baadaye and then check endelea kucheki na watu wengine now wakisema ndio na kwamba wako interested ziko video zingine ambazo utaendelea kushare nao one by one lakini kumbuka ulimpigia simu right kwao ni vizuri pia ukaweza ku close the deal akuulize maswali kisha amekuuliza maswali ya kama um, ata join vipi umuelekeze jinsi ambavyo anaweza aka join biashara umeona like yani na ile umuoneshe agents kabisa kwamba this is the right time ya kufanya biashara kuna a lot of people ambao wanatafuta immune boosters sasa hivi kuna a lot of people ambao wanatafuta an opportunity ya kufanya biashara kuona hizi online meetings zipo ziko nyingi kwa ni chance nzuri ya kuweza kuweza kuanza biashara sasa hivi yani weka ile sense of agency yani usifanye tu kama sio okay sawa haina shida basi poa anita kucheki no Yaani you are actually closing the deal. Muelekeze jinsi ambavyo anaweza kuanza biashara, anaweza kupata products zake um sasa hivi zinakuwa delivered na vitu kama hivyo. And also kwa sababu sasa hivi watu wanatafuta an opportunity ya kufanya biashara, kuna watu wanatafuta products za kuweza kuongeza kinga za mwili. Um hivyo watu wanataka kuanza kufanya mazoezi kupunguza uzito na kuuza price sasa hivi nyingi sababu watu wana muda na vitu kama hivyo. Make sure you close that deal. You understand. And kwa mtu ambaye yuko ni maybe hayuko una nina nyata ambaye hayuko maybe it's it's fine. Um unaweza kumwambia I have a mentor and she's very open to hearing from you. She's very experienced and I believe you'll learn a lot from uh, a lot more if I connect with if I connect you with her. Are you open to speaking to her? If yes, then I'll pass her number for a call. Is that okay? Meaning unamrefer kwangu. 
Okay so mlifu hiyo mtu ambaye sasa ni kuna mentor ambaye yuko very experience na hii biashara na yuko tayari kusikiliza na ku, na kujibu maswali yako mengine lakini nadhani utaweza kujifunza mambo mengi pia zaidi kutoka kwake. Uko tayari kama uko tayari nimpatie namba yako ama u, nikupe namba yake uweze kumpigia. Kwa hiyo nitaomba mnisaidie kupata hizo numbers niweze kuwasaidia kuweza ku make ku close that deal. But remember wewe ndio uko una connection na yule mtu. So ukimleta kwangu ni vizuri kwa umeshaanza ku close we mwenyewe ya yeah, ndasa usimlete kwangu ah ameshaangalia video basi malizia ah uh-uh. make sure like we mwenyewe umeshamuuliza ameshajua kama ni kwanza biashara imeanza lini unipe all those details kwa unahitaji pia na profile yake huyu mtu anafanya nini anakaa wapi umeshafika naye vipi kwenye stages za kumza kumuelekeza kusana biashara amesema nini feedback yake ilikuwa ipi and then nitumie hiyo namba you understand and mimi i'll be able to kuwapigia hao watu guys hii kitu sio ngumu ni only watu kumi tu kuchat na watu 10 tu kila siku ama kuwapigia watu 10 tu kila siku you understand na guys unajua it's, it's a system ambayo ipo as i said naweza ukatuma tu videos and that's it haina shida but ukitaka iwe more effective usio mbona natuma videos nyingi and then hazinilipi because i know some people feel like that and sio sio kwa sababu tuna sasa hivi you know anytime you want to share information ya biashara kama ujakutana na mtu in person it's good uweze kupata commitment ya ule mtu You understand. Kwa hiyo can you commit to doing this at least to 10 people every day? Unaweza ukajicommit kwa kuhakikisha kwamba mimi kila siku nitakuwa natuma messages ama natuma hizi na, natuma videos kumi kwa watu na kabla kutuma hizi mess hizi videos kumi nitakuwa nauliza na, na maswali matatu ya muhimu. Can you commit to that? Because trust me, your business depends on this. Now kuna all other activities as I said ambazo unaweza kuzifanya sasa hivi ambazo tunatakiwa tuzifanye actually. You understand we need to remain very focused. Inabidi kujua hizi ambazo unaweza nikatumia muda wangu vizuri because otherwise trust me utajikuta unaangalia TV muda wote, utajikuta umelala muda wote, utajikuta au fanye chochote ambacho ni cha maana. Na who know this situation itaenda mpaka lini. Kwa ni muhimu sana kuweza kujicondition our mind kuhakikisha kwamba tuna 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 tuna, tuna, tuna business mind like we're business minded people kama tunapoambia jamani sasa hivi is the end like we are so proud kwamba tuko network marketing watu wengine wanasafa so you already in a business ambayo una uwezo kuifanya hii biashara anytime you understand so let's let's really um uh, like be proud of what who we are and what we do and tutumie huu muda wetu vizuri kwa kuna lot of activities ambazo unazifanya ukazifanya kwenye personal development hakikisha unasoma neno la Mungu unajifunza hii biashara nijifunze network marketing nini jifunze products are forever you understand kama leo tuko na tuko na training ya products gion jifunze forever kama forever kwa sababu kama ni makampuni mengi sana biashara hapo kwa hiyo unaweza kaingia kukaa unaingia uh, videos youtube unaangalia unaweza kuandika forever uk unaweza sasa hivi nimeweka nime, nime, a lot of videos kwenye pay, kwenye uh, YouTube account yangu angeandika Veronica Pundi andika uh, Eno Salema um, jifunze about leadership soma vitabu tofauti tofauti angalia video follow people ambao wana mata kwenye social media um, team development kama una team hakikisha basi tunaandaa training za kutosha sasa hivi tunawasiliana mara nyingi sana hata mimi of course i know you part of my team ningependa tuwasiliane mara nyingi zaidi because sasa hivi tuko mbali na for me and you najua tumekuwa mbali kwa mda kwa mda mrefu it's not because of this corona issue lakini um, mimi naomba tuwasiliane mara nyingi iwezekana bali kiwezekana kupigiana kila siku na kiwezekana kutextiana kila siku itakuwa very itakuwa very important kwenye timu yako kuna watu ambao tunawaita kia kisha tunawasiliana wale watu fanya volume mapping as, as many times as possible ya kwako na ya timu yako nani ambaye ana move up nani ambaye anatakiwa kupanda cheo nani ambaye anatakiwa kufanya hivi ana lengo hili na hili na hili check on them you understand let's make sure that we keep the team excitement what do we do please contribute contribute to the to, to the to the group as many times as possible to sky kimia you understand umejifunza kitu kipya let's contribute em em share umejifunza nini umepata link flani ya video nzuri em share umepata hivi umepata mtu ame join let's invite them let's have the celebration and all those kind of things you understand let's not stay quiet in the in the group um utakuwaje kibiashara na zile activities ambazo utakusaidia kuwa kwenye biashara malengo yako ya mwezi malengo yako ya, ya wiki malengo yako ya kila siku bado inabidi yabakie pale pale nakumbuka kuna mtu alikuwa anataka kufanya full cc and then kwa wiki akaweka lengo la kufanya at least one cc you can still do the same yani hamna chochote ambacho kinaenda kubadilika sasa hivi in fact sasa hivi ndo tunajifunza vingi ambavyo hata hii situation ikipita utashangaa biashara yetu ina, inazidi kukua kwa nini sababu tulikuwa tumeshajifunza vitu vingi sana ambavyo tunaweza tukavifanya na tukaweza kuaccommodate watu wengi ambao wanasema hawana muda you understand so hii ni learning it's a learning period it's a learning learning time ambayo inabidi tuweze kufanya our best kuhakikisha kwamba business yetu ina move recruiting activities hakikisha una prospect 
Umeona? Um, watu wana check insta stories zako. Sasa hivi hakisho mwa text umwa text DM. Watu wana like watumie messages. Tutumie messages nyingi iwezekana, you understand? We do, we need to do Facebook ads. I don't know nani ambaye Facebook ads but mimi nilifanya and niletea a lot of numbers kwenye 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 WhatsApp. Na kuna video ambayo ile record kiongozi Wilbad nitaituma kwenye group ili uweze kujifunza ni sikana ambayo unaweza ka create your own Facebook ads. It's very it's a very direct video ambayo mtu kiangalia ile unaweza ka unaweza kaelewa vizuri. So kwa sababu watu to move around when do you kwa when do you kuna ile zile za nauli zile za kununua sweets za kununua nini. Hizo ndio 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 video na ndio hela ambayo tunaweza kuzispend kwa ajili ya kujenga biashara online. You understand? Andika list yako mpya kaa chini upya kabisa andika list yako mpya watu ambao unawafahamu andika kila mtu ambaye unaongea naye na unataka kufanya follow up mimi niko na niko na list naandika inaitwa follow up like pipeline ama watu ndio kujoin kila end of the page ya mwisho ya ya, ya diary yangu nimeiandika hiyo list yangu you understand kwa nazidi kuiongezea kwa sababu unaambiwa at any time t inabidi wewe na at least watu 20 ambao ndio kujoin biashara yako and then um kuna wale watu ambao utawalika uta, uta, uta kwenye online meeting ya watu kuja check make sure una, una sika system plan ambayo kitakakusaidia kuweza kuwarudia na mimi nasema the best system ya kufanya ya kuwa nayo ni kuwa na diary kama una diary at this point it's important uhakisho kwamba una diary kwa sababu inabidi uandike every single thing watu mtu akuta about product andika mekuliza about new business andika mekuliza nini andika all the numbers ambazo collect andika you understand because that is how you can be able to track na kujua biashara yako inaenda vipi and of course you know ndo 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 unajipima pia effectiveness yako kwenye biashara na you know like uh, unaweka effort gani kwa biashara so even if you a lot of uh, whatsapp uh, one to ones as well so subiria mpaka hizo ambazo tunazifanya za wote uh, uh, you can always do your own whatsapp presentation you understand so yeah um retailing activities all these activities can be done kwenye 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 nini kwa sasa hivi kwa hiyo unaweza tuendelee kufanya broadcast uh, broadcast kwamba every week unatumia maybe group start tofauti ndio baada ya matatu nitatuma kwa group hii jumanne ndio matatu ndio group group unaweza kuwa na group zako tano au tatu group saba tofauti tofauti tatu tofauti tofauti category tofauti tofauti kila siku unatuma message kwenye group ile moja ile kusudi iwe ni moja kwa wiki sio kwamba every day unatuma the same broadcast uh, list um ni kitpin sasa hivi cha kuanza kuwafuatilia wateja wako wale wateja wako wote ambao umeshao umeshao uziaga product simu andika list kama uko hauna uh, re customer record anza kuandika list ya pitia simu yako yote uonage nani alinuaga nini hata kama utakumbuka nini alinuaga lini it's okay andika wateja wako wote and then anza anza kuwacheck na kwa kutumia message ama kuwapigia simu hebu andika nina anaanza kuwatumia messages za asante nako kwa shukuru kwanza na kuwa, na kuwaombea waweze kuwa salama na familia zao i am sure kwa kufanya hivyo una uwezo wa unaweza kwa revive watu wengi wateja wengi sana um akisha kila siku na whatsapp status zako na insta story zako every day weka status kwenye status ama insta story do that and then again be checking his stories check nani ambaye ameangalia kuna watu ambao utawatumia personal messages kuna watu ambao you know hivyo yani isipite tu mtu ameziangalia and then that's it kuna ambao atakuuliza yes lakini ukiwatumia watu personal messages kutoka kwa hao inamaanisha yako active inamaanisha itakuwa rais kwa wao kuweza kufanya kuweza ku kuweza ku, kufanya biashara na wewe. Um Facebook groups, WhatsApp inboxes, phone calls, like if you like we can definitely do uh, online launches. Also that's something I'm sure tunajifunza sasa hivi. I'm sure tunaweza tukaifanya some one of the one of the days. Now kuna kitu ambacho tunajifunza kwa, kwa top leader wetu anaitwa Enos, Pomodoro technique. And actually that is what I'm doing right now. Kwamba it's um 25 minutes of intense work like in its work yani nimechagua activity fulani katika activity zangu za siku kwanza ifact ili uweze kwa modoro technique iweze kuwa kwako ni lazima uwe na list ya vitu ambavyo unataka kwa hiyo siku inaitwa to do list you understand so unapoenda kulala asubuhi hakisho unapoenda kulala kabla ujue kesho yangu asubuhi nikiamka ninafanya nini kwa sababu usipojua trust me na hiyo siku itapita just like that kwa hiyo kwenye hizi activity zote ambazo tumejiwekea including kupiga sim 10 i mean kutuma videos 10 kwa siku ziwepo and then unachagua sasa hivi na sasa hivi nafanya na na, na tuma zangu videos 10 kwa nabii nianze kuuliza maswali set timer yako dakika zako 25 25 of only doing that hamna kuingia kwenye whatsapp nyingine hamna kujib messages hamna sijui kuingia instagram hamna kupiga simu hamna kwenda kusijuka yani kama umeamua ndio muda wa hii activity dakika 25 una te, una set hiyo and then baada ya hapo um ukisha ukisha dakika 25 ukisha pita una take a break ya dakika 5 
you understand like ngapi dakika tano and then you can actually take 15 to 30 minutes break which um kama una kama una ikashughulika nyingine kama match kuna kanikasimia muda brief kidogo that's fine but then you get back to your 25 minutes you choose another task kama kama ile ilikuwa ijaisha basi choose another task for 25 minutes utashangaa like within 3 hours then 25 minutes ni kama kwa actually 25 minutes ni okay ni kama vile lisali moja ukijumlisha na hizi breaks ndio so ukishangaa kwa masaa matatu umefanya activities sita trust me ukiitumia pomodoro technique utakuwa as very effective yani you won't believe so let's go do 25 minutes on activity let's embrace the te- technology let's embrace pomodoro technique to make it more effective guys this is the time to stay focused this is the time to focus on our goal and remember you are unstoppable like this is what like for me i've chosen forever like i have no any other um option personally you understand i don't know if you have any other option but me this is the only option that i think this is the right time ya kujenga hii biashara this is the time ya kuweza kuonesha watu jamani because watu wana sasa hivi wajiulize jamani ingekuni kuna watu wanapoteza kazi kuna watu if you like watu wanajiuliza hata kama kazi yake ipo lakini bado wajiuze hii situation ikintokea itakuwaje huko in the future and it's the right time ya kuweza kuwasaidia watu wengi kuweza kuiona hii fursa biashara na kuifanya vizuri i wish you all great success let's go and do it thank you so so very much